Have you ever wanted to learn about Pascal's triangle? Well, now you can with this video. Pascal's triangle is a triangle starting with one at the top and one's going down on the sides. The numbers in the middle are the sum of those directly above it. Pascal's triangle is used in algebra and probability. Pascal's triangle is named after Blaise Pascal, who was a French mathematician and philosopher. Before Blaise, many civilizations had already found out about Pascal's triangle hundreds of years before. For example, the Chinese. Despite this, Pascal was the one who made the leap to use the triangle with probability and discovered its many patterns. As you can see, Pascal's triangle is symmetrical. With the line down in the middle, the triangle has been split in half, and the halves are identical. In Pascal's triangle, the sum of the horizontals, as you can see on the right, doubles as you go down the rows. So, if you put 2 to the power of the highlighted numbers in blue, those will equal the sums of the rows. Another one of the triangle's many patterns are the types of numbers together in a diagonal. As shown on the left, in blue highlighted cups, the first diagonal numbers are just ones. As we move to the right, the second diagonal is counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. as shown in blue highlighted cups. As we move to the right, the third diagonal is triangular numbers, which are numbers whose dots form a triangle 1, 3, 6, 10, etc. as shown in the blue highlighted cups. As we move to the right, this is the fourth diagonal and the last diagonal that we will be explaining in this video. It is highlighted in blue cups and it is tetrahedral numbers, which form a tetrahedron, 1, 4, 10, 20, etc. Now let's use Pascal's triangle in a real world problem. Pascal's triangle is relatable to the probability of heads or tails because if you flip a coin, you have one option of getting heads and another option of getting tails. This is like relates to Pascal's triangle in that the second row has there's one on the left side and one on the right which represents the option of getting one head or one tail another example of this is if we flip a coin twice we have just one option of getting heads two options of getting tails and head which are if you get a head first and the tail second or the tail first and head second and then only one option of getting tails this translate over to Pascal's triangle because in the third row you have one two one which represents the heads then the tails and head and then as well as the tails Pascal's triangle can be used in the real world to show how many ways you can combine objects like we showed with the heads and tails or to be used with polynomials by showing the coefficients that can be in a binomial expression We chose Pascal's Triangle for our 2017 to 2018 Algebra 2 semester video project because we had both heard about Pascal's Triangle in past math classes. It seemed like a familiar subject and it would be easier to not learn about something from scratch. At the end of this video research project, we learned about probability and how combinations of objects relate to Pascal's triangle.